Okay, good afternoon, everyone. In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful. I would like to speak about today Aria Formula meeting, which is being organized at the request of the United States and will take place later this afternoon. Unfortunately, once again, the US is resorting to a disinformation campaign in a blatant hypocrisy. The United States has alleged that the event is intended to purportedly protect human rights in Iran. It is ironic that the United States claims as such, while Iranians continue to suffer greatly as a result of United States decades-long brutal sanctions, a true war in which the actual warfare is replaced with food and medicine. It has become a standard practice for the US to abuse such valued concept as human rights and manipulate the UN platforms and resources to advance its ill-based political agenda. In fact, the history is self-evident enough to prove that the United States was never really concerned about human rights in Iran or elsewhere. The objective of today's meeting is clearly to interfere in domestic affairs of a sovereign state, a flagrant violation of the UN Charter and international law upon which the international legal order is founded. Iran has consistently rejected the politicization of the human rights issues and manipulation of UN system by certain states to advance the short-sighted political objectives. This is a dangerous precedent, and Iran is, has already warned against it. The Islamic Republic of Iran has always been and continues to be committed to promotion and protection of human rights. The rights of freedom of expression and peaceful assembly are recognized by Iranian constitution. Moreover, the enjoyment of these rights by the Iranian people has always been supported by the government. We are not going to compare ourselves to other countries that lag behind us in human rights situation to make us feel satisfied. Instead, we wish to evaluate our situation in relation to the aspiration and values that we revolution, revolutionized 34 years ago, as well as the overall administration of justice, morality, and religion. We are determined to continue our efforts to pursuit of these noble goals. All Iranian within and outside the country who are concerned about Iran territorial integrity, political independence, and national sovereignty are of the view that while such enjoyment of rights should be deemed inviolable, protests should not lead to violence and destruction, chaos, or instability. Every government is responsible to protect its people against insecurity and violent and terrorist act, and upholding the law and order, and Iran is no exception. The government of Iran has always made its utmost effort. Iran has always made its utmost efforts to address human rights issues and will continue to give the Iranian people the better living circumstances that they deserve and establish legal framework to alter laws and regulations. Iranian law enforcement can prevent or manage any unrest and maintain complete trans tranquility across the country, but they will not do so at any cost. The importance of human life and dignity is what ultimately guides our decision 
Therefore, the restraint displayed by Iranian law enforcement should not be a sign of weakness. We believe that exaggerating and underestimating protests in Iran serves only as a diversion from finding a viable solution and resolving the problem. Iran's government is striving to present a thorough solution to this problem by making use of its elite academic and scientific resources and capacities. The international community must respect and uphold the principles of national sovereignty of states and non-interference in their internal affairs. Thank you very much. We have, a, we have questions for you, Ambassador. Can you please answer our questions? We have plenty of questions, Ambassador. Can you please come and stay and answer them?